peace and blessings everyone good morning good afternoon good evening wherever you are on this planet in the world um, I want to just uh, talk to you about obedience obedience is key I've learned to be obedient at a very young age when I was a child I was very obedient sometimes I would rebel but not often because I see the benefit in the benefits in obedience Speaking of which, um, I'd like to share maybe a story or two with you about obedience. I would say this was back in 2019, around my birthday time. I danced really, really hard, and I think that I created something in my back. I think it was called sciatica, sciatica. So... I caught it like a few days later and it got so bad where I was I was like limping and I was like, yo, something is wrong with me. This is not cool, right? I decided at the time I had a Mercedes Benz, but the money I was making, it was like, it was upside down. So it struggled for me, you know what I'm saying? So what I was doing on the side, I was doing Uber and Lyft and all of that. So what I did was, um, I was doing, I think it was a Lyft, uh, no, Uber Eats. And uh, my son and I, we were in the car and we was at a stoplight, um, a red stoplight. So all of a sudden we feel a thump and somebody like rear-ended us. We jolted forward like really hard. It was crazy, really crazy at the red light. I was like, this is weird. So this sister, she comes out, she was super calm. It was kind of scary. She, she kind of reminded me of me. Like when I'm really nervous, like if I'm really scared, I'm really nervous, I get real quiet. I get very, very calm. Uh, or if I'm getting, like if I'm real angry, I don't, I hate to yell, you know, I don't like to scream. So I get very low, you know what I mean? I get real low when you gotta strain your ears to hear me. So she was very low. She was like, I'm very sorry. I hit your car. I'm a, 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 what could I do? I mean, I know someone that could fix your bumper. I'm, I'm so sorry. Uh, please, I don't, I don't want to go to the police. I don't want you to call the police. Da, 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 da. I was like, look, um, you know, I'm with the dealership. So I don't need, you know, your guy to fix it because I have, you know, I'm, I, this is a lease. So I'm gonna go to the dealership and um, take care of it. But we're gonna have to do the exchange with the insurance companies, I'm very sorry. After that was done and taken care of, we exchanged numbers, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I can't, I'm not gonna be mad at her. I mean, she was probably on her phone. That's what probably happened, she was on the phone. And so she hit me, it's all good. No, no, her, you know, no, no foul. So then I'm hearing from everyone, like, you know, from my job, from friends, from people saying, hey, you know, you need to, you know, go to an insurance company. You need to, you know, go to the doctor and, and, and take care of your, um, you know, get this money, get this bread. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's what they were saying to me. Like, you know, get the bread, like say that you're, you're in pain and, you know, go to a chiropractor and, uh, you know, you can get hundreds of thousands of dollars. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna try it, you know, okay. But then the next day, it was really weird. But the next day, the sciatica that was in my back, it went away, it was gone, right? And I was like, this is weird, this is, wow. This is... So we, my, my son and I, I was telling my son, look, we have to tell them that, you know, we're in pain, da da da. You know all this other stuff so we went to the chiropractor and i'm talking about yeah i feel pain in my neck and da -da -da. so they was like do you want to take x-rays we're gonna have to take x-rays we have to do all of these you know take all these steps and precautions and uh, fill out these forms and then um the day after that you know i thought about it and i was like you know what i'm gonna take this up with god you know what i'm saying because this is going to be a process and a half to have to go through the lawsuits and you know, all that other stuff. And then my son, he, he has to lie about it. So I would say, you know, cause God don't go by timelines. You know what I'm saying? Like God is, there is no time when it comes to God. God sees things forward, backwards, whatever. And I just feel like God knew what was happening. And 
I just feel like that that inst that accident with the lady hitting me from behind and she was super calm which was kind of scary <laughs> but she she hit me from behind that actually fixed my sciatica you know what I'm saying so it was like that was a blessing in disguise and to lie just to make just to get some money to just to get thousands hundreds of thousands of dollars to lie something could have happened to me you know what I'm saying like there's people out there who are really hurt and they really need the money you know what I'm saying and it's like God bless me but getting hit from behind and fixing my issue with my back so that was that was free and that was a blessing so I just want to say you know don't forget to like share comment and subscribe but back to what I was saying so God and I had a conversation it was really like it was surreal it was it was deep it was it was a uh, it was very spiritual it was I would say yeah it was surreal and um, I didn't tell many people about this but I'm just sharing you know my experience everyone has their own experience so um, God basically told me that but first of all, I saw, I saw, I saw, it was really deep. I saw God and I saw, I saw the devil. It was like yin and yang. It was like, like night and day. And God was like magnificently beautiful. I couldn't believe like how beautiful God's smile was. How beautiful and youthful and, oh, God was just breathtaking. And then I saw the devil and the devil was like very extremely strong, but very old and very ugly, like extremely ugly and but but very strong. Like I've never seen a strength like that in my life, like very strong, very old, but very ugly. So one was on one side and the other was on the other side. And God was telling me, look, I will bless you tenfold if you don't lie from this point on always be honest if you want to and I was like but I, I was like you're so beautiful oh my god I want to look like you and God was like if you want to look like me you have to be extremely honest never lie never and I was like wow okay all right um I'll never lie not that I was a, always a lie. I was never a liar like that. Like, you know, like little small little lies. Like, you know, I'm in pain and so I can get this money. Like, no, God was like, don't do that. Don't do that. Never lie. When you're honest, when you're truthful, I will bless you tenfold. Always be truthful. Always be honest. And I said, okay, God, uh, I take that oath. I take the oath. But why is, why is he here? You know, I was like, why is the devil here? And God was saying the devil is there to watch you, to watch you slip up, to make sure you don't slip up. And I was like, hmm, okay, God, I take this oath. I trust you. I love you. Your beauty is, oh, magnificent. It's outstanding. It's out of this world. You know, that's how I was looking at God. And I was like, I want to be like God. I want to be beautiful. I want to be pure. I want to be holy like you, you know? So after that, um, I made, I focused on, you know, not lying. And um, I went to the insurance company because they offered to do a settlement. And I did it with no problem. I said, you know what? I'll settle. They was like, really? Okay. Wow. You're so honest. I said, it's okay. Um, this is not about you guys. It's about me and the creator. So I signed the paper. They gave me settlement money. It wasn't much. Who cares? Um, my my thing was about pleasing the creator. Little did I know that a few months later, I became a Reiki master. I gave, became a Reiki um, practitioner. A couple of years later, I ended up doing Reiki in Africa, in Morocco. And um, I realized that being honest is very good for your heart, for your soul, for your spirit. And
and I had to be honest and obedient to God because that's how I was able to be that vessel to be able to help and heal people and to remove certain blockage through Reiki healing you know so it all ties into another and it's all about trusting the creator and trusting God being obedient is the greatest gift being obedient being honest being pure being being true to your heart is so so powerful you know so um just wanted to share that with you and uh i'm waiting for my load and i'm going to continue to share more stories um as well as i'm still going to be writing my novel my second novel so i wish you all a beautiful day a blessed day a loving day you know like i always say spread love be kind smile you never know who you might be touching somebody might be going through something if you smile it just you know confirms and it affirms to them that everything is going to be okay just wanted to share that with you the power of obedience it's blessings and it's and it's just constant 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 like being obedient is just is uh I'm, I'm just seeing how other things is just unfolding it's unfolding like a flower you know and listening to god it's it's amazing because it has gotten me out of certain situations just listening to god being obedient when god says look don't do such and such such in three days for three days don't do such and such, such. listen because i got my answer today which was amazing which was amazing so all right have a beautiful day if I, nobody told you i love you i love you i love you um love yourself and have a beautiful wonderful day peace god's promises what does god promise to those who obey him obedience is the way to abundant life when you obey, you have a clear conscience and uninterrupted friendship with the Lord. You honor other people and stay out of trouble. Your priorities become clear and you don't waste time or energy in unprofitable ways. As a river flows freely through an unblocked channel, God's grace and provision flow through you when you follow his ways. Psalms 1 one through three. Oh, the joys of those who do not follow the advice of the wicked or stand around with sinners or join with the scoffers, but they delight in doing everything the Lord wants day and night. They think about his law.